Hello everyone. We are going to discuss continuity equation for compressible fluid. Before discussing continuity equation for compressible fluid, let us discuss in brief continuity equation for incompressible fluid. So, continuity equation for in compressible fluid so in compressible fluid okay we need to understand what is in compressible fluid for in compressible fluid density of fluid okay that is rho is constant so we have this let us consider a fluid flowing steadily okay through a tube having non uniform cross sectional area so let us call it section 1 okay and let a1 be the cross sectional area of section 1 and let v1 be the fluid speed at section 1 and let x1 be the distance traveled by fluid in time delta t so we can also write x1 as v1 times delta t because we know speed equals distance by time and let rho 1 be the density of fluid at section 1 okay so i'm drawing a general diagram okay and let us consider another section that is section 2 of the same tube and let a2 be the cross sectional area of section 2 and let v2 be the fluid speed at section 2 and let rho 2 be the density of fluid at section 2 and let x2 be the distance traveled by fluid in time delta t so we can also express x2 as v2 times delta t okay now for incompressible fluid okay equation we can write continuity equation as a1 v1 equals a2 v2 and this is continuity equation equation for incompressible okay for incompressible fluid because we know for incompressible fluid density at section 1 equals density at section 2 so we have this now let us write volume flow rate so this is delta v by delta t so delta v by delta t equals product of cross sectional area with fluid speed okay and this is 
constant okay this is constant so this is also equation or this is the continuity equation this is continuity equation for incompressible fluid so we have this now we are going to discuss or express continuity equation when the fluid is compressible okay now continuity equation for compressible fluid okay so in this case density is not constant so rho 1 is not equal to rho 2 so we can write rho 1 a1 v1 equals rho 2 a2 v2 so this is continuity equation for compressible fluid so we have this okay clear now we know the product of area of cross section and speed is called volume flow rate okay so a1 v1 okay this is volume flow rate at section 1 so this is volume flow rate at section 1 and this is the volume okay volume flow rate rate at section 2 so we have this Now, from this relation, we can write rho 1 delta V by delta T at section 1 equals rho 2 delta V by delta T at section 2. So, we have this, okay. Now, if rho 2 is greater than rho 1, let us use this condition, okay. And we know from this relation, okay, we can write rho 2 by rho 1 equals a1 v1 by a2 v2. So, we have this. Now, from this relation, rho 2 by rho 1 is greater than 1, okay. So, when we compare these two, okay, then we find A1, B1 is greater than A2, V2. Or we can rewrite this as A2 V2 is less than A1 V1. Okay. So it means that volume. 
flow rate at section 1 is greater than volume flow rate at section 2 or if we take this then we can write volume flow rate at section 2 is less than volume flow rate at section 1. So, this is continuity equation for incompressible fluid and for incompressible fluid density is constant okay and this is continuity equation for compressible fluid where density is not constant.